This problem has some data, which tells us it summarizes the results from 893 pedestrian deaths that were caused by accidents. It says if one of the pedestrian deaths is randomly selected, find the probability that the pedestrian was drunk or the driver was drunk. So first of all, you have to figure out which rule you have to use. And because it says if one death is randomly selected, find the probability that the pedestrian was drunk or the driver was drunk, that means we have to use the addition rule, which I have already listed right here. So we just have to match our problem to this rule. So they're asking us find the probability that the pedestrian was drunk or the driver was drunk. So find the probability that the pedestrian was drunk or the driver was drunk. That's equal to the probability of the first guy, pedestrian drunk, plus the probability of the second guy, driver drunk, minus the probability of, the, of a pedestrian drunk and a driver drunk. So we have to figure out the probability of a drunk pedestrian, we have to figure out the probability of a drunk driver, and we also have to figure out the probability of a drunk pedestrian and a drunk driver involved in, in a death. Let's figure out the probability of a drunk pedestrian first. So you got to go back and look at our data up here. Well, okay, drunk pedestrian, our pedestrians are here. Drunk. So we have 82 that involve a drunk driver and 236 that involve a drunk, a not drunk driver. So how do we find the probability that a pedestrian is drunk? You take the total number of pedest drunk pedestrians, which which would be equal to the 82 plus the 236 divided by the total number of deaths of 893. Okay, now we got to figure out what's the probability of a drunk driver. So we go over to our table again and we look at the drivers and oh, here's the drunk ones. So that involves 82 that had involved a drunk pedestrian and 67 that involved a not drunk pedestrian. So we have to add to this probability, the probability of a drunk driver, which would be the 82 plus the 67 divided by the 983. 893, sorry. Okay, now we have to subtract out our probability that we have a drunk pedestrian and a drunk driver. And you can kind of see that we have to subtract because see right here we have 82 listed twice. We're double counting the, the, those, those 82 deaths. We got to get rid of those. So we got to figure out what's the probability of a drunk pedestrian and a drunk driver. You go up to our table, you go pedestrian drunk, yes, driver drunk, yes, it's the 82. We kind of could figure that out because we saw two 82s. So now we got to subtract off that 82 divided by the 893. So 82 plus 236 is 318 over 893 plus 82 plus 67 is 149 over 893. And we still got the minus the 82 over 893. So if you take your calculator out, out and you do 318 plus 149 minus 82 you get you get 385 over 893 and if you do that out on your calculator you get 0 0.431 so that would be your probability of selecting if you selected one pedestrian death, find the probability that the pedestrian was drunk or the driver was drunk, it would be 0.431.